In 1996, the public met 151 pocket monsters called Pokemon. 26 years later, Pokemon games still inspire players of all ages to catch them all. But with new games coming out almost every year since 1996, it could be hard to keep up with the story of Pokemon. In this video, we will go over the eight generations of Pokemon, discover the various regions of this series, and the 898 Pokemon who fill these worlds. The story of Pokemon begins with 151 cute creatures spread across Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow on the Game Boy. Hey, little buddy, want a ride? Pikachu! Yeah, whatever! We begin our adventure in Pallet Town, a cute little village where our mom lives. Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher, tasks us with a mission, capture all Pokemon. As any hero needs a villain, we quickly meet our rival, Professor Oak's grandson. He will be our first opponent, and we will follow his steps fighting Pokemon trainers around the world. As we wander the world of Kanto to catch all Pokemon, we make new friends along the way and enemies. Team Rocket, a criminal organization, wants to take over the world of Pokemon and steal the rarest creatures. As we continue our journey through Kanto, we grow stronger and gain powerful Pokemon to our side. Once we are done kicking Team Rocket to the sky, we will battle the very best Pokemon trainers, the Elite Four. Only one person has ever beat them, our rival, Professor Oak's grandson. After becoming the new Pokemon League champion, we are free to roam around and complete our Pokemon collection with our Pokedex. Three years after the events of Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon are back with Pokemon Gold and Silver on the Game Boy Color. This new adventure is heading west of Kanto to the traditional region of Johto. After picking a Pokemon starter between Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, we start adventure to capture all Pokemon and defeat all gym leaders, the most powerful Pokemon trainers in the various cities of Johto. Unfortunately, Team Rocket won't let our journey continue peacefully. Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket, is back to terrorize Johto. We already beat him in the previous Pokemon game, and we have to beat him again to remind him that we are the best Pokemon trainer around. Once we are done defeating everyone, we could cruise back to the region of Kanto to see how much has changed during the past three years. We also have the opportunity to battle Red, the protagonist of Pokemon Red and Blue. Pokemon Gold and Silver introduced 100 new Pokemon on top of the existing 151 from the previous games. From now on, fans need a way to differentiate the original 151 Pokemon from the new ones. The first Pokemon will now be known as the first generation, while Pokemon Gold and Silver marks the second generation of Pokemon. Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby set sail to a new region, Owen. This world places nature at its core, with cities built in trees and lovely harbors with seagulls. As the region of Hoenn includes several smaller islands, we will have to cruise the seas to discover this new world. To do so, we need powerful Pokemon to carry us. Luckily, the world of Hoenn is filled with 135 new Pokemon on top of the existing 151 from the original game and the 100 additional ones from the second generation of Pokemon. That makes for a total of 386 Pokemon, and the story is not over yet. For the first time, we can now battle with two Pokemon at once against special opponents. Another crucial addition, Pokemon contests, because everything doesn't have to revolve around fighting. Now we could showcase our cutest Pokemon in front of a jury to win a grand prize. Team Rocket is not a threat to the region of Owen, but bad guys are still lurking around. In Pokemon Sapphire, Team Aqua wants to flood the continent, while Team Magma wants to erase all water forms in Pokemon Ruby. We begin our story in the village of Little Root Town, where we are tasked to fill our Pokedex by traveling the world. As we make our way to becoming the best Pokemon trainer and again defeating all gym leaders, we take the time to put a halt to Team Magma and Team Aqua's evil project. In addition, we'll add a new legendary Pokemon to our collection. 
Kyogre in Pokemon Sapphire, and Groudon in Pokemon Ruby. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are set in the archipelago of Sinnoh. The main island is split by a mountain range, and players will discover snow for the first time in Pokemon. This adventure will also go underground with mysterious caves and tunnels to discover. Unlike the previous Pokemon games, the bad guys from Diamond and Pearl don't simply want to take over the region. Team Galactic wants to destroy our universe and start a new one from scratch. With the reluctant help, of legendary Pokemon Dialga in Diamond and Palkia in Pearl. In order to destroy the world, Team Galactic needs to summon their legendary Pokemon in an ancient ruin on top of Mount Coronet, the highest mountain in Sinnoh. With our faithful Pokemon by our side, we climb up the mountain and overthrow Team Galactic's plans. We could do this either by capturing or defeating their legendary Pokemon before they fall into the wrong hands. Once we are done saving the world, we could go back to our routine, defeat the Elite Four and catch all Pokemon, a whopping total of 490 creatures so far. For the first time in the Pokemon series, the settings of Pokemon Black and White are not inspired by Japan. The Unova region is far from Kanto, Johto, Owen, and Sinnoh. Unova is more inspired by New York City than it is from Japan, with several urban areas surrounding the metropolis of Castelia City. We begin our adventure in Nuvima Town, from where we will make our way to the Elite Four, as in the previous Pokemon games. Along the way, a new team shows up, Team Plasma. Their goal is to save Pokemon from being slaves to Pokemon trainers. For the leader of Team Plasma, who goes by the name of N, Pokemon are not mere tools, they are his friends. Team Plasma's project doesn't seem that bad, especially when compared to Team Galactic, who wanted to destroy the entire world. As N continues on his way to save all Pokemon, he eventually beats the Elite Four and becomes the newest Pokemon champion. His next goal is to capture a legendary Pokemon, either Zikram in black or Reshiram in white, to force everyone to free their Pokemon. As we either defeat or capture the legendary Pokemon before N has the opportunity to do so, the real bad guy shows his face, Getsis. N's father. His plan all along was to manipulate N and be the only Pokemon trainer left in Unova. Of course, we have to defeat Getsis and show him who really is the best Pokemon trainer around. Pokemon Black and White adds 156 new Pokemon to the series, raising the total number of Pokemon so far to 649. Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 pick up the story two years after the events of Pokemon Black and White. We begin this new journey in Aspertia City in the Southwest Unova. Two years after the dismantlement of Team Plasma, a new team of bad guys appear, called Neo Team Plasma. As any respectful gang in the Pokemon universe, the goal of Neo Team Plasma is to take over the world and steal all Pokemon. While we move forward and defeat the gym leaders, we make new friends that will help us track down and stop Neo Team Plasma from achieving their evil plans. We finally find Neo Team Plasma's lair, but the plot thickens. Getsis, the father of N, and the main villain of Pokemon Black and White is behind this new organization. He wants to use the legendary Pokemon his son previously captured, either Zekrem in black or Rishiram in white, and fuse it with another legendary Pokemon called Kyurem. By merging Kyurem with N's legendary Pokemon, Getsus wants to summon an even more powerful Pokemon, Black Kyurem in Pokemon Black 2 or White Kyurem in Pokemon White 2. We defeat Getsus once again and add a new legendary Pokemon to our collection. As usual, we have to defeat the Elite Four when we are back in town and officially become the best Pokemon trainer in Unova to finish Pokemon Black and White 2. Pokemon X and Y mark the beginning of the sixth generation of Pokemon. The story takes place in Kalos, a country largely inspired by France. 
The capital city of this star-shaped region is Lumino City and looks like Paris, the city of light. Lumino City even has its own Eiffel Tower called Prism Tower. We begin our adventure as a kid who leaves his mom and hometown of Vanneville Town to start exploring the world and become the best Pokemon trainer. Once we reach Luminois City, we learn that the city suffers from a mysterious partial power outage. Some new, powerful Pokemon also appear called Mega Evolution. To find out more about these Mega Evolutions, we travel the world and eventually land in Shaler City. The grandfather of Shaler City's gym leader happens to be a Mega Evolution specialist and knows everything on this matter. But we are not the only ones intrigued by these powerful Mega Evolutions. Team Flare, a gang that makes money from Pokemon abuse, sees the perfect opportunity to get richer with these more powerful Pokemon. As we continue our adventure, we finally discover the reason behind Luminois City's power outage. Team Flare is stealing energy. In their secret lab under a cafe in Luminois City, Team Flare tries to gather enough energy to summon Xerneas in Pokemon X and Yvital in Pokemon Y. These legendary Pokemon once ended a war in Kalos, so now Team Flare wants to use them to end the world. Once we are done saving the world from Team Flare's evil plans, we can go back to our habit of defeating the Elite Four and prove we are the best Pokemon trainer of Kalos. To complete our Pokedex, Pokemon X and Y add 72 new Pokemon for a total of 721 collectible creatures. Pokemon Sun and Moon set sail to the tropical archipelago of Alola, inspired by the region of Hawaii. Our story is the one of a kid initially from Kanto, the region of the very first Pokemon games. Our hero moves to Alola with their mother on a tropical island called Malay Malay Island. For the first time in a Pokemon game, there are no gym leaders in Alola. Instead, the best Pokemon trainers battle during the island trials, led by specialized trial captains. As we make our way to become the best Pokemon trainer of Alola, we meet a new gang of bad guys, Team Skull. This team is made of misfits who failed the island trials and now steal Pokemon from innocent people. Unlike other Pokemon games, this team doesn't want to destroy the world, which is a nice change of pace. While we cruise around Alola, we meet the Aether Foundation, an organization aiming to protect all Pokemon from outside threats. However, the downside is that the head of the Aether Foundation, Lusamine, is no other than Lily's mother. To defeat her, we could use the help of Nebi, who has evolved into a cocoon, making them useless. As we continue our endeavors, we eventually find Team Skull's lair and defeat the misfits. We then learn that Team Skull was actually working for the Aether Foundation, which is not as innocent as it seems. The Aether Foundation's leader, Lusamine is doing experiments to summon Ultra Beast, those powerful new Pokemon from Ultra Space. Luckily, we made a friend along the way called Lily, who has a very special Pokemon she calls Nebi, and Nebi happens to be an Ultra Beast, but still at a young stage of its evolution. Lily and our hero help Nebi get out of their shell and reveal their final form, Solgaleo, in Pokemon Sun and Lunala in Pokemon Moon. Nebi is now a fully grown Ultra Beast and manages to bring Lily and us to Ultra Space. In the depth of Ultra Space, Lily finds her mother plotting to unleash Ultra Beasts on Alola. Lusamine doesn't want to stop her plans to summon Ultra Beasts, forcing us to face her. By the time we defeat Lusamine, the Pokemon trainers from Alola have decided to reorganize their competitions. They now have a Pokemon League Elite Four right on time for our usual routine of beating the Elite Four at the end of every Pokemon game. But as we become Alola's first Pokemon League champion, we are contacted by two members of the International Police to help them stop another catastrophe. Lusamine is causing trouble again and let loose some Ultra Beasts on Alola. It's time for more fights and a new powerful Pokemon to capture. Pokemon Sun and Moon add 88 new Pokemon to the franchise, raising the total number of Pokemon to 809.
The last generation of Pokemon to date is the 8th generation, introduced in late 2019 with Pokemon Sword and Shield. The action takes place in Galar, a large and narrow piece of land similar to Great Britain. We play as a young hero from the small town of Postwick. Living next door is our best friend Hawk, who happens to be the younger brother of the Pokemon champion of Galar, Leon. But we are not the only ones taking part in this challenge, and some would rather see our opponents win. Among those opponents is Bead, a prideful boy endorsed to the gym challenge by no other than Chairman Ross from the Pokemon League of Galar. On our way to the gym challenge, we meet Professor Magnolia and her granddaughter, Sonia. The professor found a way to enhance Pokemon's powers with the help of Galar's Dynamax energy, whose origins is yet to be known. The land of Galar is scared by a terrible event called the Darkest Day. 3,000 years prior to the events of the game, two young boys saved Galar, raising a sword and a shield infused with the power of two legendary Pokemon. As we continue on our adventure, we eventually find out that our competitor in the gym challenge, Bead, is collecting wishing stars for Chairman Rose to save Galar from a mysterious threat. A couple of Pokemon fights later, we meet Bead again. This time, he's destroying an ancient mural. As it crumbles, the mural reveals two hidden statues of Pokemon, one with a sword and the other with a shield. When we finally beat the gym leaders and head to the grand finale, Chairman Rose interrupts the event. He is about to trigger the second darkest day by summoning Eternatus, a wild and powerful legendary Pokemon. The arrival of Eternatus upon Galar awakens two other legendary Pokemon, Zemazenta and Zacian. The world of Galar is saved, so we can go back home, win the gym challenge, and become Galar's Pokemon champion. As the credits start rolling, our hero is awakened to terrible news. Swordward and Shieldbert, two brothers believing to be the heir of the original heroes who saved Galar from the first Darkest Day, are now forcing Pokemon to increase their capacities with Dynamax energy. The two brothers even managed to revive either Zamazenta in Pokemon Sword or Zacian in Pokemon Shield, driving them crazy as they are filled with Dynamax power. Lucky our hero and Hop managed to calm the legendary Pokemon down and live happily ever after. Pokemon is a worldwide phenomenon that has been going strong for over 26 years. The pocket monsters even made their way into our pockets with the mobile game Pokemon Go in 2016. The anime series that began in 1997 is still airing on Netflix, with its latest season, Pokemon Journeys, being released as recent as 2019. You could also find out more about Pokemon's universe with the 24 films, over 50 mangas, and 62 books. Pokemon even has its own musical, Pokemon Live, and a dedicated theme park, the Poke Park. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.